Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for sodium carbonate plus lead to acetate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. When we look at this, we can see that we have two sodium atoms here, one here. So let's put a two here. That gives us two sodiums. It also gives us two acetate ions, but we have two acetate ions here. Then we have lead here, lead here, carbonate, and carbonate. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. Compounds with the carbonate ion, they're usually insoluble, but sodium carbonate, that's soluble. Sodium group one, potassium carbonate, they'll be soluble. Acetates, very soluble. When we get to lead to carbonate, again, carbonates are often insoluble, and certainly lead, lead often forms insoluble compounds. So this lead to carbonate, if you look it up on a solubility table, you'll find that it's a solid. That means it's going to be a precipitate and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Then we have a sodium compound and we have this acetate ion. That's going to be very soluble. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note we have two of these sodium ions. That's why we have the coefficient two here. Then we have two acetate ions. That's why we have the two in front of the acetate ion here. Because this lead to carbonate is a solid, we don't split that apart. We only split aqueous solutions, strong electrolytes apart. So we're going to keep this together here since it's a solid. And then we have two sodium ions and then two of these acetate ions here. So this is the complete ionic equation. To cross out the spectator ions, we can see in the reactants we have two sodium ions and in the products, spectator ions. We cross those out. And then we have two acetate ions here in the reactants and two acetate ions here in the products. Spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for sodium carbonate plus lead to acetate. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. We have charge balanced. We have a two plus and a two minus. So those balance out, give us a net charge of zero neutral compound net charge of zero. If you look at the atoms, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2CO3 plus PbCH3COO2. Sodium carbonate plus lead to acetate. Thanks for watching.